My shit, well, it got a little hard on top, but it's all wet. You're still talking about the toast? <laughs> Welcome to Wake and Bake with Kevin Andy, the show that takes cooking and makes it dandy. I'm Kev. And I'm Andy. What are we cooking today, sir? We are making French toast today. Yeah. But this is not your grandmother's French toast. Uh, but I'm this, not going to eat it. No, no, this is better. This is French toast. You're going to forget it's what your fighting grandmother words. My grandmother practically raised me. It is on par with you your grandmother's don't, French toast. Don't threaten memories of my child. <laughs> you know when you're finished with your fruity pebbles and you're and it's right down at the end there and you take your pinkies and you put them out yes. and you drink that stuff? Yes. That is the milk we're using to make our French toast. Did your grandmother ever do it that way? That is brilliant. Oh my God, you took something perfect and made it better and you're absolutely right. Fuck my grandma. Let me tell you what's in it. Dry cereal, milk, melted butter, packed light brown sugar, Texas toast, two eggs, powdered sugar, and maple syrup. We're gonna take our bowl. Okay. Cereal. And okay. you've done this before. I'm sure you've poured milk on cereal. Oh my God, I've made so much cereal in my life. And here's your milk. Use all of this? Use all of it. And smells like smell that smell that vintage. Mm. Oh, pebbles. Twenty minutes later, it's soaked enough. Oh, because we want it to be soggy. We do we, want, we do? we put basically everything that's in the cereal to soak into the milk. And we're gonna strain it out. So this is a strainer. That's nice. Look like that a top shit. Oh my god. And so, so we're straining we're it. We're straining Why? it. Yeah. Can't we just eat the cereal out? No, we want to have it be have the milk be pure. The milk it does the body good, totally. not this milk. All right, so we're straining this out, mm -hmm. and we're left with colorful, sweet milk, the way it comes out of God's own cow. Now we're gonna beat some eggs into it. Oh, right. So you wanna crack So these? now we're into the world of regular French toast yes. making. All right, you want me whipping this? Whip it good. So I'm gonna prepare our casserole dish by putting some melted butter mm -hmm. and some brown sugar. Brown sugar! in my melted butter. And we're just gonna lay this down, like a nice layer. Probably shouldn't lick raw eggs off your finger, right? Um, don't lick them off of anyone else's finger. So I'm getting this all down to a layer. Okay. Trying to make it sticky. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. It's like sandcastles, man. Mm -hmm. You look like that little boy on the beach in Jaws. That cop would have been a lot more invested if his kid got eaten and shit. Remember how invested yeah. the mayor was? He was like, my kid is on that beach too, Mark. Let's set that aside. Why? Because we're now going to put our toast into the casserole egg. Oh, so you don't soak the toast? No, this is all cutting edge technology right We're off here. the grid now, kids. So we want to get four pieces into the bottom of this dish. Well, you, you know, you've got two hands. Go ahead, I'll watch this oh, one. Oh, shit. You're gonna hand it to me and let me do it? I'll use my method. See, I do a steeple assistant. and press it down. Yeah. Come on. Behave, Texas toast. Oh, I like that. Build the steeple again. You can also use Look at this. It's like I build a church, and then like every good god, I crush it. <laughs> then we take about half of that stuff. Just half? Just half because we're gonna do two layers. Okay. And let's. And we're pouring this on. Try top. to evenly pour it on top. We can spread it around. You can use your fingers, the back of the fork. Can I add a, a, a thing? My grandmother would do this to the bread. Makes it. Don't don't know really. <laughs> <laughs> it makes the, the egg soak in a little bit. All right, so we pour about half, half on. Yes, and I'm going to use your volumetric uh, estimation skills. How about we just do it scientifically? Oh, wow. You've learned so much. A little bit. So that's about two cups, so we're putting in about a cup. Ooh, ooh. God, Leah is erotic. Now, now check your measure. Face, neck, and chest. Oh, yeah, uh, we got like, a whole cup to go. Now we're going to take some uh, extra cereal over there. It goes, a layer goes in between? You get a little layer sprinkled through. It's like a, a joyous confetti of cereal. And then we do another layer of this. That's correct. Let's see if your if your technique is any better than mine. I mean, I'm touching it. Can you touch it? Well, it's going to go in the oven for And a get while. cooked. So is that what happens? So you're allowed to touch the food because once it gets cooked, all the germs die? You don't wash your hands. I don't. Now, we're going to cover this with foil. Voila. Got your foil handy. That's going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. 40 minutes? Yeah. This shit better taste like you can you the can cure spend a, for death. Okay, beautifully done, sir. So Thanks. this goes in the oven, forty minutes. Do we awkwardly stare at one another for forty minutes while we wait for this to cook? Uh, no, we do the bat thing and go. Na -na 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 -na. Okay, I've put on my black C-3PO gloves. Goodness gracious me! Because we're gonna take something out of the oven. Open up the it's oven. It's kind of like a stay puff marshmallow look. Is that what you feel like? 
I feel like I'm on the Death Star. Ooh. Look how beautiful that is. Now, it's pretty. Do you think we're done? Don't answer yet. Yeah, of course we're done. No. It's ready to go. No, sir. We're going to take a little sugar, sprinkle that on top, and make a, we're going to make a brulee. You won't remember. That's uh, not too heavy. That's pretty good on that one. You're, you're tall and a fat guy. Not too heavy on the sugar. Where well, you been? Save my room for life? the maple syrup. We're gonna take our friendly neighborhood blowtorch. The fuck, seriously? Yeah. Oh my God! Hey kids, put on your safety goggles. Turn that on a little bit. Get that going. And now I want you to kind of flame that down, melt the sugar, and then uh, caramelize it. Mm -hmm. Close your eyes. Give me your hand, <laughs> darling. See how it's melting and browning? I think that's good. Now you're starting to light everything on fire. <laughs> Those are not raisins. So let's stop. We okay. can stop that. Let's serve it up. Plate it, as they say mm -hmm. in the business. Which one do you want? I would say this one has the least amount of spit in it. So enjoy. Oh, thank you, sir. Mm. And I'm going to take this one because it's got a little extra on the side. Fat guy looking out for himself, man. Why don't you grab the syrup and okay. we can uh, pour that over top for the traditional French toast. Rich, buttery syrup. <laughs> Time to taste this and see if we did it right. Well, shit, well, it got a little hard on top, but it's all wet. You're still talking about the toast? Mm. This takes it from French toast, and once you put in cereal, to American toast. Mm. Really little. And you did it as a favor to me, so it's mench toast. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh bullshit, that is like the fucking greatest thing I've ever done in my life. Like, <laughs> I've made movies, I've had a child. Bullshit compared mm. to this. That's like fucking, we're gods. Normally I take a pipe, I mean all this fucking shit. Let me tell you something right now. Right here at Loot Crate Kitchen, heaven on earth. Like honestly, I don't even wanna go home anymore. How's my family gonna compare to this? Yeah. Nothing in life is gonna be as good as this. Watch this shit. I want to punch you, it's so fucking good. <laughs> so we should drop the mic and quit the show right now, because what's going to be better than this? Was it better than your grandmother's, uh... Fuck my grandma. <laughs> this was amazing! My grandma, what a hack! You want to see us make other things in the Loot Crate Kitchen, right here in the Loot Crate Kitchen at LootCrate.com? Then you got to go out there into social media and tag us on Twitter or Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you hashtag Loot Crate. Let us know what you'd like to see uh, us cook, man. But trust me, we don't even need your suggestion. This shit's brilliant, dude. Thanks for hanging out here on Wake and Bake with Kevin Andy. I'm Kev. And I'm Andy. Bong appetit, my friends! Fucking nice, good.